Hey Hoopheads, Brad here with another breakdown and today I want to talk about the Thunder's defense and their 113-92 blowout win over the Rockets in Westbrook's return. With this win, the Thunder go to 22-16 and and they've won 14 of their last 18 games. They have a defensive rating of 106.6 which is good for 10th in the league and one of the keys to winning this game is that they held the Rockets to just 14 free throw attempts, much lower than the 27 that they average on the season. Let's get into it. In this game, the Thunder were fine with giving Westbrook outside shots, so look how low SGA drops here as Westbrook brings the ball up. And then as Westbrook attacks, Steven Adams is there with the help, active hands, able to get the deflection and the steal. Nice work by the Thunder D. The Thunder played great defense on James Harden in this game, holding him to just 5 of 17 shooting and only giving him 5 free throws. And to do well, they had to play well positionally with their feet and avoid reaching in, because as soon as you reach, you know James Harden's going to draw a foul. Here as Daniel House comes up to set the screen on Dennis Schroeder, you can see Chris Paul communicating to Schroeder to go over the screen. And then as soon as Harden gets the ball and brings it lower, check out Schroeder pull his hands back, just plays well positionally, low in his stance, good shot contest on the step back, and that's really all you can ask for from your defense. And now in transition, SGA is back, able to poke the ball away as Westbrook attacks, nice hands by him. And then we see the Thunder sagging off Westbrook again, this time he hits it, but that's okay, you'll live with that. Even though he had a good night from the field, this was the only three he hit. And now Westbrook takes SGA into the post, Shea tries to pull the chair on him, gets him a little off balance, he throws the pass to the opposite side, and then up to the top to Harden with Schroeder on him, and then check out Schroeder low in his stance again, keeping his hands to himself, gives a little jump on the step back, but artfully avoids the foul. Here Harden going to attack off the screen and check out Gallo as soon as Harden gets into his body the hands go up he's not reaching Muscala comes over with the help as well also not reaching and that's how you got to play against Harden because you know he's coming in looking for that contact here Gallinari finds himself on Harden in transition Harden tries to go at him in ISO good work by Gallo to move his feet doesn't let Harden get to the basket Harden settles for the step back instead and Gallo with a good shot contest that's going to be a miss this is just poor shot selection by Westbrook with 16 seconds left on the shot clock. Sometimes the offense plays the defense for you. And then on the offensive end here, this is just a great hustle play by Hamadou Diallo to save the possession and get the offensive board. And you don't go 14-4 and four without role players making key hustle plays like this. Here Harden's going to come off the Capella screen and attack and check out Muscala with his arms out to his sides. He's already thinking, don't foul, don't foul. He goes straight up verticality, but that's a moot point because Terrence Ferguson gets back in the play and absolutely swats it. A huge block from Ferguson, elevating to the sky and sending Harden home. Here as Westbrook pushes it, he gets into the paint, kicks it to the corner, but the pass is a little off. PJ Tucker tries to save it, but Chris Paul out of nowhere to snatch the ball. He takes it the other way and hits Capella with the sham god on the fast break. That play actually doesn't go anywhere, but I thought that was a really nice move. Here Harden waves off Clint Capella because he wants Tucker to come up and set the screen so he can get switched onto Gallo. Gallo in drop coverage contains Harden until Terrence Ferguson can get back into the play. Harden pulls it back out to attack Ferguson. And as Harden drives to the lane, Ferguson moves his feet, keeps his hands back. Muscala comes over with the shot challenge. It's going to be out of bounds off the Thunder. But nice work on that drive by Harden. Off the ensuing inbound, the Rockets go back to Harden. Another iso. Ferguson pressuring a bit but keeping his hands out of there. Harden gets a step on him. But Ferguson recovers and gets the block from the backside while Muscala gets it from the front side, the ultra rare double block. Schroeder fouls Capella on the recovery and check out this replay, just a great block from both sides. And then off the ensuing inbound from that out of bounds, Harden gets the ball, Ferguson just gives him nothing, staying in front of him, not reaching, a couple passes that don't go anywhere and eventually Harden passes to somebody else for the shot with the shot clock running out and that's great continued defensive effort for the Thunder. The Rockets just had the ball for like 45 straight seconds and didn't get one good shot out of it. Here as Harden attacks, check out the footwork by Terrence Ferguson to stay in front of him. Incredible work by him. He leans back on the shot to avoid the contact too. The Thunder get out and running and SGA with the nice finish on the fast break. And Harden goes at Ferguson again. This time he hits him with the step back. Pretty wide open, but I'd rather be giving up that shot than be giving up drives to the hole and a lot of fouls, so not bad. Here Harden gets the ball with Schroeder on him and Schroeder does reach here. This is one of the only times the Thunder reach and it does indeed result in three free throws for Harden. And that just confirms why you don't reach. Here Hamadou Diallo gets the assignment on Harden and this is just a reminder that even if you stay in front of him, do everything perfectly, he's still going to bang a couple shots in your face. And if you're unlucky, more than a couple. 
Here as Harden crosses half court, check out Terrence Ferguson already pulling his hands back to avoid fouls. And then as Harden comes off the screen, SGA is gonna slide over to help out. This leaves Westbrook wide open for three, which the Thunder are completely fine with. And that's gonna be another three for Westbrook. CP3 chases down the rebound, goes down to the other end, puts up a three of his own and absolutely drills it. Here the Rockets have four guys along the baseline like an ISO setup, but Harden fires a pass to the corner. And check out Chris Paul's positioning here because that baseline is so crowded, he's not gonna let him get to the middle at all. He forces him towards Steven Adams. They close in on him and poke the ball out of bounds. It's gonna be out off the Rockets too. Great defense there by Paul. Now on the fast break, Westbrook gets the ball and he's gonna do a little fake step back and throw the lob. And the hope there is that Steven Adams comes towards him on the step back so that that frees up the lob pass. Steven Adams doesn't go for it at all, probably because he's been on the receiving end of that lob a bunch of times. That messes up the plans and that's gonna be a turnover. Here, Ferguson on Harden and just doing a great job of containing him. And check out Chris Paul. It looks like he's passively ball watching, but the instant that James Harden picks up his dribble, Chris Paul steps into this passing lane. Incredible anticipation, and he's gonna take it down to the other end and get fouled by Harden. That's just great defense. The Thunder were so locked in. Here, check out Mike Muscala off the ball. He's tracking PJ Tucker, but keeping an eye on Westbrook as well. And as Westbrook beats Chris Paul with an in and out dribble, Muscala comes over with the help to challenge the layup. Great work to change the shot. And now in transition, Westbrook with a full head of steam looking for contact, but Chris Paul steps away at the perfect time. He avoids the contact and now Westbrook's off balance misses badly. Here Ferguson at the top on Harden who eventually is going to get a step on him. And it's going to be Gallo who steps up, gets vertical and doesn't give Harden the contact that he's looking for. Instead, it goes out to Westbrook and SGA baits him into another three-point attempt. And now as Harden comes off the PJ Tucker screen, Mike Muscala in drop coverage, just trying to contain Harden as Terrence Ferguson gets back into the play. Now it just turns into another Harden ISO. Ferguson's been dealing pretty well with those all night, keeps Harden in front of him, contests the step back, job done. And now Rivers is gonna go at Gallinari and Gallo once again does a good job of avoiding contact on this layup attempt. Here Westbrook trying to attack quickly and maybe get the two for one, but Chris Paul is in the passing lane. He just snatches that one. And now as Westbrook tries to get out in transition, Chris Paul finds him at half court, initiates some contact, and Westbrook's gonna get called with the offensive foul. Chris Paul being a bit of a pest as always. And then here Diallo on Westbrook in the post. Nice positioning, not trying to do too much. And as Westbrook puts the shoulder into him, that's gonna be an offensive foul. And in the fourth quarter, Chris Paul went on an insane run as he just dissected the Rockets defense. On this play, he loses his man on the Adam screen and nobody comes to help, so he just pops the mid-ranger. And then on this play, it takes two screens, but same result as he just dissects the defense with the dribble, finds the open spot, and then drains the jumper. This one, the Rockets get wise and start to help on him, so he throws the pocket pass to Adams with the floater. And now on defense, he almost pokes the ball away from Westbrook. Westbrook able to recover it there. And then as Westbrook takes it down to the baseline, CP3 able to reach around, get the steal from behind. The Thunder get the ball to Chris Paul out in transition. He's gonna drop the pass to Diallo who gets the easy dunk. Chris Paul taking over. And now in semi-transition, he hits Hardenstein with the lefty nutmeg up for the easy basket. And Chris Paul says, you know what? This is getting ridiculous. This is too much. I, I gotta take a foul, sub myself out. An epic moment for Chris Paul. And before the game, everybody was talking about Westbrook's return to Oklahoma City. But this is also Chris Paul playing against his old team too, who traded him for Westbrook and gave up a lot of assets to do it. Chris Paul getting the last laugh in this one as he checks out with over seven minutes left and a 26 point lead. That's gonna be the ball game, all garbage time from here on out. The Thunder have five guys scoring 15 plus in this one and that's gonna be another quality win for the seven seed who is knocking on the door of the six seed too. Thanks for watching, and if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you thought of the Thunder's defense in the comments.